Here I'll be changing the spark plugs in this first generation Chevy Traverse. According to the shop manual, this should be done right before the 100,000 mile mark. I'll be using the AC Delco Iridium 41109 spark plugs. Check the description below for a link. The tools you need for this job are a 5 8 inch spark plug socket as well as a 10 millimeter socket. I use both 3 8 inch and quarter inch ratchets along with a variety of extensions. You also need a spark plug gapping set. Here I'll be using feeler gauges and torque wrenches capable of 89 inch pounds and 13 foot pounds. It's also a good idea to have a tube of dielectric grease to lubricate the boots on the coil packs. Let's get started by unplugging the wiring harnesses on the three coil packs on the front side of the engine and removing the 10 millimeter bolt holding each coil pack in place. Before removing the coil pack on the right, you will have to take out an additional 10 millimeter bolt holding the purge valve solenoid in place and remove the solenoid. Then remove the remaining coil pack bolt. Gently twist each coil pack and remove it from the engine. Using the 5 8 inch spark plug socket and a few extensions, remove each of the front three spark plugs. This is what my old spark plugs looked like after a little over 100,000 miles. Before installing the new spark plugs, check and make sure that they are exactly the same as the ones they're replacing. And using the spark plug gap tool, make sure that the gap is set at 0.043 inches. Install the new spark plugs in the front cylinders, tightening first by hand to prevent cross threading. After they're all hand tight, set the torque wrench to 13 foot pounds to finish tightening. Do not over tighten the spark plugs as it can strip the threads in the cylinder head. Next, it's time to clean up the rubber boot on all the coil packs and apply a thin layer of dielectric grease to the inside of the coil pack boot. I found this easiest to do with a Q-tip. Only put the grease at the end of the boot and not at the back where the coil pack connects to the top post on the spark plug. Now reinstall all three coil packs on the front of the engine, making sure they're fully seated before reconnecting each wiring harness and reinstalling the 10 millimeter bolt. Torque each of these coil pack bolts to 89 inch pounds. Reinstall the purge valve solenoid and the 10 millimeter bolt that holds it in place. The remaining three spark plugs are located here, here, and here behind the upper intake manifold. It is not necessary to remove the manifold to access them. However, I would recommend wearing gloves since your hands will be rubbing against the firewall insulation. Remove the coil packs by first unplugging the wiring harness and then removing the 10 millimeter bolt. Then wiggle the coil pack while pulling up, tilt it to the side, and then slide it out from behind the engine. Do the same procedure for the remaining two coil packs. Using the 5 8 inch spark plug socket and a 6 to 8 inch extension, remove the three spark plugs. I found it necessary to drop in the socket and extension, then connect the ratchet due to limited space. Carefully remove the old spark plug, then reinsert the new one. Again, hand tightening first, and then torquing the 13 foot pounds. Repeat the same procedure with the other two spark plugs. Then clean the coil pack boots and apply dielectric grease before reinstalling them in the rear cylinders. Reinstall the three 10 millimeter bolts and torque to 89 inch pounds. Finally, plug in the wiring harnesses in all three of the coil packs. I hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to show your support by clicking the like button. Also subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Leave any comments or questions you have in the comment section below.